All right. Um, we're live now. I'm just this is okay. I'm just gonna. Cool, cool. Live stream is out. All right. So you don't need my. I don't know why I have. <sighs> I'm just gonna wait for people to show up. When people show up, I'll start talking. Hey man, uh, uh. <laughs> man, uh, the Rays had nothing to play for, and you guys still beat us pretty pretty convincingly. I mean, I know it was four three, but it was relatively convincingly. Hey, all right. Lucas Licky did not come into a run on a baseball game. If the Yankees would have lost and Licky came into that game, I would literally not be mad right now, but I'm absolutely livid because I don't understand how a guy, and I could statistically prove this. Lucas Licky's probably like the third best reliever in this bullpen. Let me just pull up some statistics here. Um, because can I share my screen? Please tell me I can share my screen. That would be phenomenal. If I learn how to share my screen, I'm going to be unstoppable with this. Uh, but I don't think I've learned how to do that yet. So until we learn how to do that, until we learn how to do that, I don't care if Boone said that he thought I like that part of like Domingo threw the ball well. Like he's gonna say that. The part I care about is we need to get guys reps, and Lucas Lipke hasn't pitched since September 25th. Like that just doesn't make that doesn't make any sense. Like that makes zero sense. The part of him saying Herman threw the ball well, like that's fine. Like you're supposed, like I get it. Like he's a manager, he's supporting his guys. Like he's gonna go out and say that. Like I, I completely get that. I thought Herman threw some pretty good pitches, but I thought he should have been limited one inning of work. That's it. Like that. That's it. You're not trying to steal outs. You're trying to just, you know, he gave you that one inning. Cool. Licky. Pivot to Licky because I think to start and I can check as well. You just pull up the Statcast game uh, scores so I can get like exit velocities, all that stuff. Because you know, uh, and I'm not gonna sit here and just crap on a Brady because I, I didn't even think of it. it was terrible. He got a little bit squeezed, little squeeze. But you know, he didn't hard contact. You know, stuff like that happens. The part that really upset me. Um, is so okay just so i can scoreboard yes there we go that's what i'm looking for all right so you had wendell mejia and kiermaier up um if her stores screen record i don't know if you could do it all. yeah i have a screen I, I use like twitch um studio and like whenever i make a video like i can put up my screen if i wanted to uh but i i gotta figure out i'm probably gonna use like Streamyard and just like i gotta figure out the account for that uh and then i'll be able to do that um are these next two games must win in your opinion absolutely Ab absolutely you can install obs i gotta get, i don't know i don't know why i think about I, I i thought i had obs i guess i just don't um I, I'll, I'll definitely do that before the next live but yeah these next two games are kind of must wins like you want to just lock up the playoffs but i don't want to have to deal with any extra stuff um but you know you had wendell mejia and kiermeyer mejia can confirm um we're gonna go to francisco mejia uh, splits. Let's just pull up some great splits here. Handedness versus left-handed pitching. He is a 103 WRC plus hitter versus right-handed and left-handed pitching. So, you know, I, I can't stay against both. Cool. Um, so Mejia is same against lefties and righties. Wendell is a lefty. Kiermaier is a lefty. How Lucas Lipke is not in that baseball game over Domingo Herman makes zero sense. Like, how is he not, how is that not the lane to bring him in? You avoid completely having that disaster. And if Lucas Lee implodes, then you go to a break. I didn't like I I can't I can't kill a Brady for how he pitched. Because he got a force out. He gave okay, that single actually had a higher XBA than I thought it had. I was like it was a ground ball. So I, I was like, oh, it's a ground ball. I guess, you know, I'm watching seeing the box score, single up the middle of the ground ball. I'm like, that's a soft hit ball, probably. That's 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 hit very hard. Um, but I mean, you just – you can't excuse that there. Like, that's such an obvious lane to bring as Luke, Lucas Lipke. Who, by the way, if you pull up the Yankees' stats um, and the Yankees' levers, um, and I'll, I'll go, I guess, minimum three innings, or minimum 20 innings, uh, we'll go – yeah. Uh, actually, let's go, minimum, let's go minimum 10 innings. Let's just go – let's just go guys who have just pitched some innings out of the bullpen for the Yankees. In innings pitched, Lipke is third. 
He's the only two guys ahead of him are Lewisa and Green. All right, and minus, which is just park adjusted ERA, and I understand all these guys kind of have pitched in the same ballpark, so it's kind of hard to do this. Um, you have King one, Holmes two, Lewisa. He's a reliever right now, so it's him. And Joelle and, and Licky is five. Like he has a 62 ERA minus. For context, Joelle has a 62, 65 as a Yankee. Um, Sessa had a 66 as a Yankee. Green had a, has a 73 on the year. Wandy is 76. So he's a better pitcher than Wandy Peralta ERA wise as a Yankee. Um, and then you might go, well, what about his peripherals? Maybe he's lucky. Maybe the Yankees just don't like Maybe he's got like a four Sierra or a four FIP. That's not even the case here because he has a three, two, eight skill interactive ERA right around where Chapman is. So I really can't see the argument here. Um, if you look at FIP fielding independent pitching, he has a two, nine, five right around where Michael King is. Like there's just no logistical like, there's no argument you could have made to not bring in Licky in that game. And that ends up burning the Yankees. The Yankees give up a bunch of runs. And you make you can say, you know, there's a great, there was a great point made um, by Brian Smith. Great follow. I love the guy. Um, you know, uh, great guy. Just a phenomenal guy. Stand-up guy. Um, where he mentioned to me, like, look, you know, maybe Gallo doesn't get that free hit if the Yankees aren't up by so many runs. That's their point. But I don't think Gallo, like, you can't really hit into a double play there. Like, Stan is still going to be on second base, right? And I don't think he can hit. A, you can't really hit into a double play there. Um, now, Stan doesn't get to third base because the infield probably isn't where it is, and the Yankees can't just take advantage of that. But Gardner hits that ball the other way. That's a single. Runners on, you know, first and third situation like that. Um, I guess it would be two away because, I mean, that's assuming Gallo is out. But you really can't assume that Gallo gets out. So, you know, my, my, my point is here that the situation for the Yankees is significantly better if you get that shutdown inning. And you should have gotten that shutdown inning because you had the perfect matchup for there. Hell, I would even say, why isn't Joely Rodriguez in that game? If you want to say that the Yankees just aren't turning to Licky because they don't trust Licky or they feel like he's worn out, why is Joely Rodriguez not in that game? Joely Rodriguez has been far more dependable than Herman out of the bullpen, is far more dependable than Albert Abreu out of the bullpen. You really can't make an argument that Licky nor Joely shouldn't have been in that game. It just made a bunch of sense to bring in a lefty. And I don't really see why Boone is so nonchalant managerial-wise for the bullpen. We saw this against Toronto. And he, and granted, it's it's not like, you know, it's not like I'm saying Aaron Boone's to blame if the Yankees don't make the playoffs. Like, that's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just saying that these are managerial decisions where it's like big game, season on the line, postseason series on the line. I can't trust Aaron Boone to make that decision. And that's a problem, right? I think the biggest problem is obviously the offense. That's always going to be the big problem of this 2021 Yankee team. But I also think it's a it's, it's a huge problem that Aaron Boone really hasn't shown me that he's going to be an urgent manager. He's going to be consistently pulling his guys when he needs to pull them. I need to win this game type stuff. Look, I get Herman coming in. Herman coming in in the seventh inning, like, fool, fine. That's great. He got his seventh inning. He's got his inning of work. You don't need to stretch the guy out because you know what? Realistically speaking, how often are you going to be using Domingo Herman in a close game? In a postseason series, not very much. You have rest days. You can go two games, rest day, three games, two days, re two games, rest day, one game in the ALDS. ALCS, you go two games, rest day, three games, rest day, two games. So it's very hard to justify a situation in which Domingo Herman is giving you three innings or two innings in a one-run one run baseball game. That's not happening unless it goes to extra innings. In that situation, I get it. You know, Jay Happ had to pitch out of the bullpen and give you multiple innings against Houston. Like, I can get that. But you're not taking high-leverage Herman right now. He has done nothing to prove that. So give him that one inning. Great inning, great inning of pitching. Give him that confidence inning. Pull him. You're good. You had a lane to bring in lefties. Get the shutdown inning, hand it to your offense and say, I know you guys haven't done a job lately, but I'm asking you to get me one run. I've got Chapman still. I've got Joelle still. I've got Abreu still. Like, I can still piece this together. You guys just got to get me one run. Let's try to get two, but you get me one right now. We keep this game going. We put pressure on Tampa to score that extra inning affair where you got that weird rule, and then we get a chance to answer back. But I need you guys to score one run. That should have been the message. By keeping Herman out there for a second inning, that gives off the message that we're just trying to get Herman reps. We're not trying to win this game as much as we're trying to get Herman reps. And it doesn't make sense to stretch him out if you're not going to stretch out Severino. It doesn't make sense to stretch him out if he's not going to be, you know, 
one one run game, you know, big time spot, you know, big game on the line, season on the line. If Vermont is not coming into that game, there's no reason to guarantee the guy reps. Lucas Lipke getting reps is significantly more important than Domingo Herman. Same thing with Joelle Rodriguez, because there is one guy I trust to get left-handed guys out in terms of being like a loogie kind of guy, and that's Wandy. You could have Joelle come in that role, but he hasn't pitched since the 26. You can't trust him to pitch in the wild card game right now. Same thing with Lipke. You can't trust either of those guys. And they're valuable pieces in his bullpen. Both are, both are guys who get ground balls, or not ground balls, but soft contact. Both are guys who have sub-70 minuses out of the bullpen. It's not, you can't justify this stuff. I don't think I should be the manager. I'm not a people person. And I get that a lot of a, a lot that comes with managing is managing the clubhouse. You know, being a great clubhouse guy, you know, I, I, I completely get it. Like being a great clubhouse guy, uh, you know, when you're talking about players, like you really don't care as much because you want their production. But I think it definitely matters for a manager. So like, I'm not going to sit here and say like, everyone is, has never done anything good as a manager. I'm just saying like, when it comes to bullpen managing, like the dude is just so incompetent at times. You just, I, I can't understand it. But man, I'm really losing my mind because I, I'm losing my mind because Lucas Lickie didn't come into a baseball game on October 1st, 2021, when we, you know, should just have the division, you know? Um, I don't know. Uh, and then I think uh, I just, man, I just don't know. I literally don't know. How, you can't, like, you're just at the point where you can't. Like, uh, you think of that Toronto game. If the if her, Vlad if the Yankees didn't win that game if the offense didn't bail him out you would look back and say the postseason chance that we had was was blown by the fact that we didn't bring in Michael King earlier like it's just obvious stuff like that and that's that's his bullpen managing you know that's his that's his supposed to be his you know October like season on the line like going for it that's supposed to be that's this is supposedly his aggressive managing style is this. This is aggressive, then I got nothing to say. We will win two out of three. And my dad will, you know, I'm not like, like we, I'm not saying we can't win two out of three. Like, I feel good with Monty. I feel good with Monty on the mound. I love Monty. I, I feel good with him on the mound. I feel very good with him on the mound. I'm, I'm not saying, you know, like the Yankees can't win two out of three. Freak out. Yankees aren't making the playoffs. Like, I think that's stupid. I think that's, you know, it's dumb. You know, you, you're in, you're still in control of your own destiny. You still control what's going to go on tonight you know um you know the mariners are up one nothing right now right change very quickly you know all it takes you know marco gonzalez has pitched, actually he's pitched really well lately wow he's slowed his zero sub four um but you know you can go out there if the mariners lose tonight you just have to win tomorrow with monty on the mound so you this angels mariners game is actually really important um, and I'm probably going to end up watching it. Um, and you guys should watch it as well. Um, but I'm not going to sit here and give you this doom and gloom. Yankees aren't making the playoffs. I think that's dumb. I only think that we should be talking about Aaron Boone's, like, the bullpen management's bad. Like, that's this is really bad. Uh, Monty always gives us quality starts. So underrated. Exactly. No, absolutely. Like, Monty is, like, I think Jordan Montgomery is the type of guy I want on the mound in a huge game. Like, this is, tomorrow feels like a, like a must win. Um, and I couldn't feel more confident than having a guy like Jordan Montgomery on the mound. I feel like he's a big game pitcher. I feel like when I need to call him a starter, Montgomery is one of the first guys I will think about. Probably the second guy right after Garrett Cole. You might go, well, Garrett Cole's pitching poorly lately. I still love Garrett Cole. I still trust Garrett Cole. But after Garrett Cole, it's Jordan Montgomery for me. I know that guy can pitch in a big game. I know that guy can get a job done. He's put up great statistics this season. He's a very sound pitcher all around. Love the guy. Um, yeah, we're really at this point. Um, we, we just need to get there. I don't really care, honestly, about home field advantage. Um, I'm being honest. So it's just only a postseason. I really don't care how we do it. Um, we're just going to, we're going to, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get some live commentating of this Angels Mariners game. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get some live commentating. Come on, big Fletch. I need Fletch to do a job here. But um, Gonzalez's dad, Gonzalez was like pitching really 
poorly from what I remember. Because I remember he had that start against us where he like had terrible numbers, and I was so upset we gave we, we did pitch we didn't do well against him. Um, so I'm assuming he should turn it around a lot. Um, so I'm gonna check, but keep asking questions. I'm here. You can ask away. It's a Friday night. Um, you can ask whatever you'd like. It could be anything, baseball, football, even some NBA. Yeah, Mark Dawes has a, a, a two-point throw in his last 70 innings, which is really impressive. That's, 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 man. that's, that's good to see for him. He deserves it. He's a good guy. Or I think he is. I actually don't know. I haven't fact-checked. Um, who do you think... Do you think the Giants are getting the second pick in the draft? Um, they have like I don't think they're like the second worst team in the NFL. I'm not a Giants fan. I, I just love Daniel Jones. I'm not a Giants. I'm, I'm a Browns fan. Um, but I like being right, and I think Daniel Jones will be good. So I have to be right about that. I have an ego to hold. Um, but um, I think they'll get the second pick because of the strength of schedule. Like, I think a really tough schedule. I don't think they're the second worst team in the NFL. Like I just think it's just a really brutal schedule. They got off a bad start. They didn't play so well against some pretty easy opponents to beat. Um, and so it's just not much, there's not much for me to think like they're going to get three or four wins. Like, I just can't really see that on their schedule. Um, so second pick of the draft, it seems like they'll get those. And I think the Bears be decent enough to like steal a couple games. They'll always play well against the Lions and the Vikings. Um, so they'll probably get two or three wins there. Um, so they'll have like four or five, six wins, maybe be five. I'll say five, five wins. Uh, so maybe not, they'll, they'll get their second pick from their own pick, not from the Bears pick, but they'll get another good pick from the Bears pick. Um, the Gary at bat has to be one of the worst I've ever seen. Don't know how people, um, it was a bad at bat. Yeah. Um, I, uh, you know, my thoughts, I think Higgy's a better baseball player and I want Higgy to get reps over him. Um, uh, but at the same time, I like, I'm not gonna, I just, I have a hard time really going like, Oh, I can't believe people want Gary on the team. Like I understood why Gary, why Gary hat was on the team this year. Like I completely understood it. And I, and I think he provided value. And I think he's a nice guy to have on this roster right now. Cause I think he does have value as an offensive player. Um, but I can't, I really can't say, um, I really can't say he should be on the team next year. So there's that. Uh, but yeah, keep asking questions. I'm, gonna say, I'm just going to be answering questions. I'm just going to, Um, I support the Barnhart Piggy Platoon. You and me both, brother. You and me both. Her sister. I, I actually, I, I don't, I can't, I'm not going to, I'm not a tech. Um, I'm not trying to be biased, but Voight, um, Rizzo shouldn't be playing with his Rizzo. Well, I mean, Voight isn't available, so <laughs> you just don't have anyone to play. Yeah, he can't really play Voight. <laughs> He's hurt. He was running the first they shouldn't have. It was very clearly, you know, not a situation we could run. Uh, first base is occupied. I mean, yeah, Rizzo, Rizzo's hit better versus lefties. Voight's freaking injured. <laughs> he's, he's, he's hurt. <laughs> That's so it's, – it's, it's, I'm sorry. I, it's not, like, funny to hurt. It's funny how he got hurt because he literally, like, that one pitch hit at bat in, like, a week and then got hurt. So, <laughs> uh, um, no, uh, absolutely not. No, Rizzo, Rizzo's, Rizzo's fine. I, no, no, I'm, like, pissed about him hurting, being hurt. Or not pissed about him playing against lefties. Yeah, no, he should still play against lefties. But even if Voight was there. I mean, Gardner should play against lefties if Voight is playing, right? If you're going to put Voight in the lineup, Gardner should. That's how I see it. Um, um, so, yeah. Uh, I think Rizzo should be starting every single game, every single day, regardless of pitcher on the mound. Gardner should sit it. Hypothetical, if Voight was healthy, he's not. Um Gardner would, in theory, sit in games that they want to play Void in. At this point, you have to even question if playing Void over Gardner is valuable enough, yada, yada, yada. That's a whole different debate. That's a whole different discussion. Um, but, yeah. Uh, skip to my questions. I, I like answering questions. I'm a little bit upset in the room because they are moody people. Um, Mariners have are pitching. Two are on. Brandon Marsh takes low and away. Is that 2-2? Two, 2-2, two, 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 baby. All right. I'm going to need Marco Gonzalez to choke, be terrible, and yeah. Um, I 
I don't want to hire after Boone either. I don't. <laughs> like, that's a problem. I, and I, I don't think that's a reason to not fire him. Like, just because I don't know doesn't mean the Yankees don't know, right? Like, I just don't know. I guess Cone, but I like Cone in the booth, so you know, I'm not going to bring Cone in to manage. It's another situation where it's like I haven't seen his bullpen management, so I can't really say, like, there's a – I want someone with a little bit of a track record. Offenses should have scored earlier and we would have won. Yeah, that's pretty simple. Offense didn't score. Um, that's that's obviously a bigger problem here, right? Offense didn't score. They didn't do their job, and they waited too long, and they didn't. They didn't really did their job. So, you know, not really much I can say outside of just offense was terrible today. Come on, Brandon Marsh, do a job, baby. You know you have a job to do. You have to help the against the October dance. Oh, Marsh, the other way. Drop, drop, drop. Oh, it's for his head. Who's going to score? Here comes, oh, who, who's coming? Here comes Fletcher. The, 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 Two one angels, two one angels. Okay, let's go. Brandon Marsh, baby. Brandon Marsh. You love Brandon Marsh in this household. Out of boy, Brandon Marsh. All right, I need some show hey action. This is some good stuff. Watch right now. All right, that's like a terrible bouncing. I just I can't be too loud because people are sleeping and I'm trying to like stay retained. Um, but yeah, it's a huge hit. No, show. Oh my God! I would. I would. No, oh, please, God, no, not, 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 not show, Walter. Please, dear God, O'Neill, no, <laughs> Tony Lovello. Uh, he got extended, so no. And Cone, yeah, Cone's a cool. I guess Cone's a good option. I just, I don't really like. I'm not like. I, I don't want to lose the guy in the booth. <laughs> I, I like. I, I mean, like, I'm just thinking from like a viewership standpoint. Like, I would like to see, still have David Cone in the booth, and I think he's. I don't think he's going to be interested in managing, if I'm being honest. So, give cash one million a year. Okay. <laughs> I would be down, like, to just, like, poach him. But I think the Yankees, like, the players hate him. So, I don't think those guys get hired. Yeah, I agree. I mean, Lovello got extended, so that's not realistic. And then the other three guys, I mean, Cohen might be realistic. But I feel like that's just us throwing out rumors because we like him. Um, I think the other guys are just kind of, like, not. And because I don't know if the Yankees are going to go off to do that. Um, you got the Mariners doing a job, right? The Mariners need to just complete the choke. Come on, Marco. Keep missing, baby. Keep missing. Keep missing. Don't keep on strike. Um, my throat. I feel like I just strained it doing something. My throat is as fragile as my ankles are. My ankles are super fragile. Um, please show. Hey, that's ball three. That's ball three, baby. Why do the Angels so many lefties up against Marco Gonzalez? Like, Marco Gonzalez dominates lefties. What the hell is going on here? Oh, God. All right. Um, good. Oh, maybe you should potentially walk Shohei. Okay, who's up batting third? I'm very interested in seeing who's batting third. Um, D-back should just – yeah, maybe. I don't really care about, like – I don't know about anything about Luvelo, so I'm not going to, like, say they should have hired or fired him. His roster sucks. He's just there. That's fine with me. Um, how do you feel about the Browns this season? I feel so good about this Browns team. Like, I feel really good about the offense. I think OBJ is incredible. I love Anthony Schwartz. I think Demetric Felton is my Lord savior. There are so many things I love about this offense. The defense, I think, can show signs. I think uh, um, Joker is incredible as linebacker. He's, he's, he's played so well on the defensive side of the ball. I love it. I love him so much. So what a great pick in the second round. Um, but I'm feeling good about Miles Garrett, obviously. Feeling good about the pass rush after that Bears game. I think they just need a, the secondary just needs to keep clicking, and I feel a lot better about this team. But as long as the secondary is somewhat consistent, we can get pressure to, at the quarterback, and you know I feel good, really good about the Browns. Donnie, uh, all right. So let me just Google that. I have no clue who that is. Um, who the hell is this guy? I mean, I. He's, uh, he's a guy. Like that's you know that's that's an option. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make this into propaganda. All right. If you know who, if Donnie Ecker is, I don't. I think I saw that he was on the the Reds or the Giants. Is it the Reds? He was on both teams. Um. So let me just Donnie Ecker. Um. Uh, oh, the hitting coach for the Giants. That's a beautiful pick. That's a beautiful pick right there. That's a that's an incredible pick. I think we should just hire him as hitting coach. Uh, he's a crowd. That's 
need to bring a cheating lab over here. That's an, I don't know how I forgot that that was him. I, my brain is fried right now. Um, Delpit will help. Yeah, Delpit. Great Delpit being healthy. You can just pull up Delpit stats this year because I'm a nerd. And I need to have this information in front of me. Um, yeah, that Ecker would be great. Um, I forgot he's the air pitch coach. Yeah, you know, Delpit, Delpit definitely is a guy. Love Delpit. Um, but he, he he needs to just be healthy. Um, OBJ, enjoy OBJ. Have you done a contender? Hope. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm I love Jabril Peppers. He had that huge play against the Broncos in um, you know, that 2018 that fun year for Browns. Uh, I love Baker's rookie year. He had a huge play, huge sack on Case Keenum. So I love him. Like I'm rooting for him. I hope the guy, the guy keep the guy keeps playing well. Um, I've got like nothing against Jabril Peppers at all. Um, so I hope the best for him. And I love OBJ. So hopefully they're both, you know, hopefully all our guys stay healthy. Um, both, you know, your guys and our guys. And you know, uh, we feel good about the trade for both teams. Um, do you think the Yankees will beat the Rays in the ALDS? I would pick against the Yankees because I think the Rays are a really good team. But I wouldn't be shocked. Like, I don't think the Rays – I think the Yankees are one of the most streaky teams in baseball. And I think it would be kind of very Yankees-esque that for the worst roster in terms of their performance – that they've had in this core, that that's the one that does the job. It'd be pretty funny. Um, but I would pick the, the Rays right now to beat the Yankees in the top series. Um, Hinge to NYY. Uh, oh, yeah, Ecker is young. He's like 35. So, yeah, exactly. Um, and Hinge to NYY. Uh, I mean, AJ Hinge would not be very popular in the Yankee dugout, which is probably a re- like like that definitely matters more. Than like with like, I don't really care about the stuff with players. Like when people say Correa is like a bad fit because like who would want to? Why would like the Yankees want to bring in Correa? Like everyone's gonna hate him. Like I don't really care. But for the manager, that actually does matter. Like that definitely does matter. And I don't think AJ Hinge would ever take a job here. And I don't think the Yankees would ever be able to get the their players on board with working with AJ Hinge. So there's that. Uh, though I think Hinch is a phenomenal manager and that the Tigers did an incredible job hiring him. I'm glad why it's did it. Uh, we're just going to be keep rolling. Uh, please, Phil Gosselin, you beautiful man. Keep fouling off pitch, baby. Come on, Phil. You can do it, Phil. You can do it, Phil. You can do it, Phil. Come on, Phil Gosselin. We're big Phil Gosselin fans today. All of us, every single one of you, better be a Phil Goslin fan. Phil Goslin better have like a po- you better have a Phil Goslin poster on your wall. Singular NOI, hell no, <laughs> oh absolutely not, no, no, no reason to. Why bring one guy from an underachieving team to another team like that? I just keep booing, right? Keep the familiarity. I just keep booing. Oh, oh, I thought that was I thought that was hit well. It was, but it's going to get a runner to third, but I thought that was like a base hit. That wasn't. That's fine. That's, that's fine, Phil. Someone needs to just do a job and get that third run in. Um, I think we might sign Trevor Story. Yeah, I can see Trevor Story. I prefer Corey Seager over him, Um, but yeah, Trevor Story is pretty cool. Uh, Oh my God, I'm going to rely on Chris Suzuki. You have to do something. That's great. Tingler's so bad. Yeah. Yeah. He's just not very really good. Like, I, I don't see the benefit of bringing Tingler over. Him. So... So, no, I don't see it. We got to eleven fifteen over here. Uh, I mean, most of my viewers are East Coast people, so over here just means where we all are. Um, Kurt Suzuki's up. That's on first third, by the way. Trade Higgy and sign Barnhart. Hell no, Higgy. I think is a better baseball player than Barnhart. I'm keeping Higgy. Higgy has to stay. Higgy's a guy. He's the he's the guy. He is he is the man. All right, all right. I love that man. Um. Gonna need to be a Chad though offensively and like do your job, but you know, yeah. Uh, I can't trade Hagee, hey, can't do that. Uh, Kurt Suzuki, please do a good job here. Like, I'm just asking for a base hit. I'll never ask you for anything else in your life again. Okay, it's a foul ball. Um. But I have to wrap things up here, unless you guys have more questions. If you guys don't have questions, you know, I'm going to hop off. If you do have questions, just, like, ask them. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Higgy just needs to wait. To wait. Yeah, dude, just let him. Dude, if he just pulls fly balls, he's fine. Like, as long as he's just not hitting the straightaway center, he'll be good. But, yeah, he does need to hit a little bit of the weight room. Kurt Suzuki, you fat slob. Oh, my God. You hit into a double play. Jesus Christ, I hate this guy. 
Hope he never sees MLB playing time again. Hope he has to retire, honestly. We're hoping the worst for this guy. You fat slob. Oh, my God. Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, if the Mariners lose, the Yankees have to win with Monty tomorrow. And they're in the playoffs. Right? So, you know. Gonna need that to keep up. Thought Suzuki retired. Yeah, I, I no, he didn't. That fast slob is still playing. Uh, do you think we pursue Robbie Ray? Nah, I think he. I don't, I don't. I just. I really don't see the Yankees in play for like a one hundred another one hundred million plus dollar investment in starting pitching rotation. Um, yeah, I agree, Sean O'Neill. Paul's are you Paul's relative? No, I'm joking. Not Paul's relative. At least I don't think he is. No, I think O'Neill has two L's. He has one. Unless I'm thinking of Tyler. I think Tyler has two L's, right? We're just going to – Paul. Yeah, Paul has two L's, so does Tyler. Someone should – I'm going to get that clipped, the, the part where I call Kurt Suzuki a flat, a fat, a fat slob. That's getting clipped. We're using that. Um, Shaq is your uncle? That's good to know, man. That's good to know. Hopefully you can teach me how to dunk. Do you think we keep Voight? No. Like once, once, like the the infrequency we was playing with, just know that they're not keeping him. Um, JK on white. Fucking love you. I don't I you got if you if you're on Twitter, shoot me your Twitter handle because I probably don't know it based off your YouTube one. Shoot it. Please. Uh what do you think we can get to Voight? Uh for Voight? No idea, man. His value is probably like not existent. So I've got no clue at all what you can get for him. I'm really interested as to what we can get for him. I don't know what the market's gonna look like for him at all. Um so got no idea. Maybe like a solid reliever. <laughs> he's, he's a first baseman, so not much value there. He's not healthy. Again, not much value there. Gonna need uh, Jose Suarez to be my ace and just shove. That's paint. That's paint by Jose Suarez. We respect that. Need Jose Suarez to be my ace. I'll, I'm a big Jose Suarez guy. I hope you understand this. That and... That and Jesus. Um... I'm pretty sure they got suspended, so there's that. Um, but yeah, no, I need Jose. Is that Jose? yeah, that is Jose Suarez, I think. Um, me and my ace because I'm confusing him and Ranger Suarez because both those guys are guys who were like came out of nowhere and started pitching really well in the rotation. But those are my aces. Jose Suarez, my absolute ace, my favorite left handed pitcher in the world. I've never enjoyed another left handed pitcher ever. I'll DM you. I'm the one who said you want. Oh, yeah. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. No, I want Licky. Well, first off, I would want Licky just coming in the eighth, um, starting the eighth. And secondly, I trust Licky against those guys. Licky is that guy, right? Like, I think we have to respect Lucas Licky as that guy. Um, you should. Honestly, that's an underrated comment. Chad should have been in that game, arguably. Like, I get it. You're trying to save him to close, but Chad should be in that game. Chapman would have. I'm telling you, Chad. He's dotting up Wendell. Chapman is dotting up Mejia, and Chapman is dotting up all those guys. Like, he is dotting those guys up. Like, that's just true. Oh, that was a base hit. I thought he hit that for a foul ball. Crap. Um, but nah, Chapman should be in that baseball game. You make a great. Why do we have a designated closer? My, my young? No. <laughs> uh, no. He hundred for the innings this year. No. 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 Mm. He has to, he's going to finish maybe top 10. Um, that's the best case scenario, but I think both of, I think you're going to see Giolito get more votes than him, Lynn get more votes than him, Rodon get more votes than him, um, I think you'll see Luis Garcia get more votes than him, um, let me actually just, I think you'll see Garrett Cole, obviously, Robbie Ray, Nathan DiBaldi, those guys will get more votes, uh, that's more than six, so that answers the question, please be a double play, one, on to first, it's a double play, a boy. 
care how homies are close tonight. Yeah, exactly. It, exactly. Or goal wise, go one more inning. No, remember they said they weren't going to do that because he just came back from that shoulder injury. He didn't get it to rehab. So, yeah, but Rodon's pitched 111 innings, but he's been significantly better than Jordan Montgomery. So, you know, like that's why I'm saying he's going to get Jordan Montgomery. But has he only thrown 111 innings? I just I can't believe that. There's just no way he's pitched 111 innings. That's not real, right? Rodon, yeah, Rodon's 132. Where'd you get 111 from? That's no. Like, that's just not happening. Well, um, but of all AL pitchers who have thrown 100 innings, of all, he's going to have has a like, better um, than Montgomery's, uh, but he has 182 innings. So, you know, that's that's definitely going to help him. Um, I don't want 375 yard That's definitely going to help him. The merchant stuff going for him. Um, and Boston voters are going to vote for him. Cole will get more votes. Rodon will get more votes. Cease could potentially get in the mix. Barrios will definitely get more votes. Montes, Lynn will get more votes. Ray will get more votes. Jalito will get more votes. Um, Monty will probably get, like, he'll finish 10th. I think he'll finish 10th, honestly. Uh, maybe Chris Bassett gets more votes. Than Monty. I can see Bassett getting more votes than Monty. Because um, he's the same amount of innings. Monty. Cole Suarez, baby. My ace. Shoving right now. Bassett's probably going to get more votes because he has more innings and a better ERA and a better fifth. Um, I think McCullers will probably get more votes. Uh, Luis Garcia, as previously mentioned, will probably get more votes. Sean Manaya might get more votes, but I wouldn't give him more votes. And then Otani's probably going to get more votes, and Means might get more votes. I mean, there's a lot of guys who might get more votes. Jeez. Um, McClanahan might be in the conversation for needing more votes. Um, so, you know. Yeah, DeGrom only didn't get to throw all innings this year. He's been hurt for like a really long time. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of guys who are going to get votes that, you know, it's not going to be, like, Monty's not getting top six. Um, and I love Monty, but, you know. Yeah, Boomers are only, they're only going to use ERA, innings pitched, you know, wins, loss, are probably going to count a little bit. Um, so, like, just off the top of my head, like, I, you know, I don't think, I don't think, um, I think, I, I'm going to be a uh, 100 innings. You can think that's, or actually, let's crank it up to 130, 130 innings. Um, to get fair, um, American League ERA minus. Cool. So Monty is thirteenth in ERA minus. Um, in fit minus, he is. What is Jordan Montgomery in fit minus? Uh, Degrom's probably gonna get some votes, but you know, because they're gonna see. Yeah, oh, you, like you're gonna like like some rulers get votes. Like I think it's gonna be something similar to that. Um, but I don't think it's gonna be anything crazy. Like, I don't, I don't want to give him any votes at all. Um, minus Monty is sixth. So he's sixth, fifth, um, and 13th ERA minus wise. And any pitched, he is That's not enough to get you top six. Sanji could trade in the offseason. Maybe he gets non tendered, but yeah, I'm leaning towards he's just not near Yankee next year. All right. Um, so that's what I have it here. Um, Soto Harper better than Tatis for the MVP voting. Yeah, I think Tatis is a better baseball player, but uh, yeah, uh, I don't, you know, I, I don't, I don't think Tatis should win MVP. I think that should be Soto. Um, I don't know why I'm stuttering so much. I'm just really tired. Uh, Soto won't get it. I mean, I Soto won't get. I wouldn't he get? It. Like, I don't see a reason for that. Um. You know, I can see it happening. I don't think it's out of the picture. Could be Jack Mayfield to do a job here. Absolute job. Um, it's gonna be Harper watch. I mean, but why would you forget it over so both of those teams are gonna make the playoffs, right? Like it's just not the playoff argument there. Right? Like it's just not there. 
So if it's not there, I really don't see how like Soto would win it over Harper, right? You know what I'm saying. So in the first couple of weeks, who would you of the rookie? I would still take Lawrence. I'd still take Lawrence. Um, I'm not going to use it for weeks. I'd still take Lawrence. That was my pick then. That's my pick now. Just watch. Believe me. I'm telling you. I mean, I'm not. Sh- I'm not going to be shocked if Harper wins. I'm just saying it's hard to say. Um, you know, Soto won't get it, but he deserves it. Um, if you know, it's not a guarantee that anyone wins in the National League. So you know, this will be a little bit fair to him. Come on, Jared Walsh. Oh, he got under that pitch. Come on, Jared Walsh. Be better. Do better. You scrub. Oh, I thought you dropped that. Lawrence one, Mac Jones two. I love Mac Jones. I think he's played well. Um, but I don't think he's the best quarterback in that draft class. I'm still taking Zach Wilson. I'm still taking Justin Fields. I'm still taking Trey Fields. So, yeah. Uh, Mac- no, you can't. You can't just throw Mac over Fields and Wilson because of, because of two, three weeks of football. Like, come on, guys. It's, this is not like like. Uh, Baker Mayfield was so much better than Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson in their rookie years, like significantly better than both of those guys. And as of right now, Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen are better than those than him, right? Like you can't make this, you can't evaluate quarterbacks, especially young quarterbacks for three weeks. Like that's insane stuff. The wars will be not what they should be. Harper Otani for MVP, Kapler Servais for uh, manager of the year, and then Burns and Ray. Okay, that's, those are fair predictions. I think it'll be Wheeler instead of Burns, but you know, yeah. I mean, true, I just like to live in the moment. I understand that, but it's, I just, I can't do that. You know, I, I can't, you know, if, if you're asking me, like, who are the best quarterbacks in that draft class, it's staying the same as what it was for me in that draft class. I had fields too, though. I, I and I still have fields too. Um, but I, I really believe in Justin Fields. Um, but not going to have an opinion changed on three weeks of football. Yeah, Lance, you know, like, Lance hasn't even got a chance. So, like, can you really count him that much, right? So... You know, there's that. I'm going to wrap this up soon. I think Judge comes there. Mm, no, nah, I think Simeon and Vlad get those two and three spots. I think Simeon's been better than Judge this year. So you got to get Simeon. Um, and so and I think a pitcher will probably get up there. So, you know, you got you to gotta be, gotta be fair to Simeon, right? I think Judge goes top five, though. Um, do you think the Jaguars win this year, like win a game or like winning record? Because no to winning record, yes to winning a game. But you know, weird. That's a weird. That's that's not really well phrased. I gotta, I gotta, you know, need this to be a little more specific. Seager is hurt. Wait, Corey Seager got hurt. Okay, we're we're not okay now. Come on, Luis Renfio, beat that out, beat that out, beat that out, beat that out, beat that. No, we slow. Um, yes, a game. Yeah, they'll win a game. They'll win a game. They'll win a game. Trevor Lawrence will have that breakout game. Right? All right. Um, I'm probably gonna wrap this up. I my brain is melting. I'm very tired and I need to put sleep. So I need to get sleep. And so with that being said, um, I'll wrap this up. Um, you know, I, uh, I'll wrap it up here. I got brains melting. Uh, no, Torres, Torres will not be here. Torres will not be traded. Excuse me. He'll be here. Um, yeah. I think Peraza stays as well. I don't think they trade Peraza. I mean, maybe they trade Peraza, but definitely not Torres. I think Torres stays. Uh, but you know, I'll wrap this up here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like go to sleep. I'm gonna like literally pass out on this live because I'm gonna forget to turn it off. Uh, but with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Brian out or live, whatever. I'm out.